Hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to do a unboxing and review on the Blackjack Piruku uh, boots. So I bought these boots from Pinto Ranch. Uh, this is the second pair of boots I bought from Pinto Ranch. Their customer service is amazing. Uh, they usually have a great selection of blackjack boots. They carry Lucchese and, and other boots, uh, but their blackjacks uh, they have made exclusively for their store. Uh, as you can see, the box from Blackjack has Pinto Ranch on the box. Um, and so, so they're a pretty big uh, retail store. They have several locations as well. And uh, so when I bought these boots, um, the price on them were $845 and after uh, taxes and shipping, I think shipping was free, but after taxes, I think it was $915. And then the second day, there was kind of a glitch in the system, I guess, and they sent me an email stating that I still had items in my cart, uh, used this code for 10% off. But I had already bought the boots, so I emailed Blackjack to respond to that, uh, reply to that email, uh, and asked them could I still get the discount, and they gave me a refund of ninety-one dollars. Uh, so it was pretty great. I ended up getting the boots shipped to my house for a little over uh, eight hundred dollars, and because I live in Texas, uh, I got them within like two days. So they shipped them out immediately uh and i got them today i think i ordered them on sunday morning i believe uh so great shipping great customer service uh and they always have a great selection so uh, pinto ranch is uh like i said i bought two pair of boots from them and they're they're pretty great uh so the box like my other pair of boots have uh they come in a silver box uh, made specifically for Pinto Ranch. As you can see here, they're black Piruku boots in size 11D uh, and $845. So I haven't uh, opened the box, so you'll see them when I see them. So right on the top, you have the receipt. You have uh, paper wrapping. And just like my other uh, boots, Pinto actually wraps theirs uh, in these boot bags, uh, which is amazing. I bought boots from other companies and, and I don't get free boot bags with those boots. I will say the ones that I do get, though, uh, the quality of the bags are not that great. Uh, I used them when I went on a trip uh, to wrap up some uh, black jack boots I had. And, and at the end of the trip, and they just sit in the suitcase, they had holes all in them. They were ripped to shreds. And so first look at the black jack Piruku boots. I will say, first impressions is these things look badass. This one seems to have some type of white staining or something on it. Um, but it doesn't look like anything that wouldn't come off with some conditioner. So, I will say another word about this uh, Piruku leather. This is the first Piruku boot that I have owned. Uh, and really the closest that I've seen one in person. Uh, and I'll be honest with you. 
they, the leather itself had to grow on me. Uh, when I first started seeing the boots, uh, I didn't like them at all. Uh, they looked very sloppy, um, but I'd only seen them in, in browns, and, and, and to me, the browns are not as appealing. Uh, but while looking around on Facebook one day, um, City Boot Ranch, or City Ranch Boots up in Waco posted a pair similar to this with a little darker shaft, and um, I wanted them immediately. They looked great. Uh, and I sent them a message, but they didn't have any of my size. So I went looking around and, and found these uh, in stock at Pinto Ranch. Uh, and thought on it for a day uh, before I pulled the trigger because I wasn't so sure. Uh, but this boot has all the qualities that I like in a boot. Uh, and so we'll start uh, that with talking about the boot. Uh, the blackjack stamped uh, outsole, lemon wood pegs, uh, a lot of them. As you can see, this boot has a, uh, it's called the blackjack walking heel. It's one and three eighths. Very nice heel. And this is all uh, real leather construction, leather stacked heel. The Piruku leather uh, looks great. And it has their, they call it the Vito uh, from Blackjack. Uh, it looks like a number seven toe to me. Uh, and the way the last that Blackjack uses makes their boots fit awesome. They look great on the feet. Uh, the way this wideness, the way this uh, Vito moves out into this portion of the boot, uh, even from the sole. Uh, it looks very aggressive and outstanding on the foot. Um, single stitching, uh, which is great. I love single stitching. I, I dislike double stitching on the boot. Uh, it draws your eyes to the sole and not the leather, uh, in my opinion. Uh, this boot has a 12 inch uh, shaft to it. Uh, distressed leather. Goat with the Piruku overlay on the pull tabs has uh, this uh, shaft shaper. I just a uh, word of advice on Amazon they sell these uh, boot shapers, shaft shapers on Amazon, they're very cheap. You can get them in. Uh, I think packs of 10, so service five boots. Uh, and these things last for a long time, much longer than these will. So I recommend if you uh, have boots, uh, you invest in those shaft shapers as well as um, some boot trees. This is, also comes in the boot. traditional leather lining inside the shaft with a traditional leather sole, insole. As you can see, Pinto Ranch is stitched inside of the liner on these Pinto Ranch uh, blackjack boots. Smell amazing, as always. One of the best parts of buying new boots. This is the other boot. This is the one that has this uh, white residue on the leather. It seems to be very uh, superficial. Uh, 
just because this leather it almost feels it almost has like a, a suede feel to it uh, but it does look like they were brushed up against something that see this mark it goes straight down the front of the boot I generally don't like uh, any marks or anything on uh, something I buy when it is exceptionally expensive if they were $200 boots uh, I wouldn't be concerned at all with it, but when they are boots that generally would cost you a thousand dollars or close to it, uh, I expect them as close to perfect as they should be. Uh, and these are pretty close to perfect, uh, other than that, this residue on here. But uh, still, I view that as something that staff at Pinto Ranch should have caught. Uh, before they ship them to me, for sure. Uh, but exceptional, exceptional looking boots. I'm very happy with the purchase. And if you're thinking about some pure Ruku boots, uh, I would say pull the trigger. Uh, cleaning these things, um, Big Four Exotic, uh, a lot of people use that with uh, great results. Uh, they say it looks great, but I'm probably going to spray these down with some uh, Scout Exotic uh, spray uh, right after I make this video uh, and then brush them real good and uh, make sure that, that that residue comes off of there. But I am very happy with the look of this boot, very happy with that toe. Man, that toe looks great. Very nice looking boot. Thanks for watching.